And, you know, to get more onto this, like, special thing that you want to talk about, too, tell me more about how this Toronto International Music uh, Video Festival formed and how you became, like, the festival director. Okay, uh, well, um, you know, it was definitely something me, Ryan, and Jacob always kind of talked about. Um, it was always an idea. We always wanted to make a music, fe- uh, sorry, a film festival. And I don't know, while digging, you know, brainstorming, all that stuff, we kind of realized there's nothing really directly for music videos, at least out of the city. There's definitely festivals that kind of have like a section where they talk yeah. about music videos, but there's never really kind of fully highlights it. And we also want to kind of give back in a lot of ways. Like I'll, I, I'm now right now I kind of work as a, I work mainly as a kind of coordinator for the film industry. I've worked on a few Netflix shows, sci-fi channel, so on and so forth. And, uh, I kind of got in the door with these music videos. Like uh, the film industry is insanely hard to get into. Like there's only so many seats at the table type deal, like only so many positions on every film. And not to say it's, uh, there's a lot of people like, there's a lot of film kids out there. Like in the end, it's hard to kind of break out of the mold or I don't know, uh, make an impression. And no one really talks about how music videos really are the best way for young creatives to kind of show what they got. Um, you know, you make those short films in school and you think short films are going to instantly lead to a feature film. And they may, you know, like some guys, I'm not going to say don't do your short films, but music videos really are a great way to kind of three minutes, I don't know, five minutes, show it to a label. And it's very, it's easier to kind of get in that access point because then bigger studios may look at your music videos and go like, this guy's got an eye. He's a good director. You know, these producers managed to actually pull this off and uh, do it within a decent budget. Also, not to shoot down, but music videos usually have a much tighter uh, deadline. Yeah. So being able to go to like a bigger company and be like, you know, we did this in three weeks. It really does show there. So um, back to the music video festival, I guess, is, um, you know, music videos. So many directors start their careers in music videos. Like I know David Fincher, Michael Bay, like I can, I'm sure there's more. I'm just blanking off the top of my head. But you know, no one really, no one really talks about it. Like no one really talks about how like music videos is how they got their foot in the door. As well, no one really celebrates it. Like, uh, oh, there's so many talented music videos that kind of, you know, make their impression on pop culture kind of go to the wayside. Or there's ones that just never really get that recognition. Like, I'm sure you've seen a music video online and it has like 10,000 views, but you're like, damn, this uh, it's fantastic. But no one's yeah. really talking about it. So the music video festival is kind of our way. We wanted to celebrate this art form that gave us all careers, but it never really gets the spotlight it deserves. And uh, as well, give back. Like we plan on having some educational panels. We're going to have some directors break down like the whole process of from pitching to the label, making the budget, making the the pitch deck is what we call it, where you kind of pitch the idea to the final product. And um, I don't know, really just kind of allow anyone who can show up, kind of ask questions, all that. Like, again, music videos are also that zone where no one's really teaching how that happens. Like, sure, you can know how to make a good video, but how, what's the actual process from Sending that first email to the label, making the budget, paperwork, all that stuff. A lot of people don't fully know the full grasp. And like, we didn't even know at the beginning, to be honest. A lot of us were just kind of winging it, figuring out as we go, calling up everyone we could think of to kind of give us some little advice. Yeah. So I don't know. We're hoping this music video festival can kind of, first off, like teach some young kids, young creatives, how to really get their foot in the industry, music videos and build from there. As well, the ones already have made great music videos. We want to showcase them. Um, it's kind of venturing off, but we plan on doing awards for best of categories. Oh, true. And we want to do also what we call the selection screening, oh, where true. our judges may not pick the best of the best, but we want to show kind of a selection of just, uh, it'll come down to the final yeah. amount and how long, because you know, if some video is seven minutes and yeah. some are three, we're going to have to cut down here and there. But um, we want to be able to show them off, you know, invite labels to the festival, invite yeah, yeah. artists to the festival. And, you know, they see this guy that may only have 100 followers, but he made this slammer music video and, you know, might open more doors for him and so forth yeah. <laughs> and all that. Yeah, no, I do. I do definitely feel that it is like very like important as well, too. And like I've had people that actually tried it like on a smaller level, too. Um, I had a guy named uh, Capital T Films, like I interviewed like mm-hmm. some years back, who actually invited this guy named uh, M Works, who did some directing for like Robin Banks and Pressa and Casper and all those people. And they had like a panel just like some months back where they talked about the process of creating music videos, you know, getting into content creating, like how like the process for a music video works and everything else too. And it is like interesting to see like at a smaller level too, but like seeing it at a larger level like this, 
it is uh, very interesting to like notice all the details, how mm -hmm. to work with labels, how to work with independent companies, how to work with like finance companies and also with mm -hmm. other people too, with rentals and all that type of stuff too. Like renting from the TDC, like mm -hmm. renting from like, uh, like, you know, various like private, re like restaurants or private like franchises. And mm -hmm. I'm glad to see it like, you know, even being panned out uh, from there too as well. So yeah, like, uh, I don't know, really just hoping to give back, like, you know, like, yeah. and also as well, give back to the way, like, I don't know, I'm thinking back to like 20 year old me, I wish I had something like this where I could go there and learn the whole process because you are flying blind for the most part in music videos until someone gives you the guidance. So yeah, no, 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 hopefully voice, we can man. give back in this way. And uh, no, no, just really looking forward to it. It's been like a few years in the works of us figuring it out, finding some funds, just kind of finding the time as well. And uh I don't know. It's just, it feels it feels weird, but feel it's real. It's finally happening right there. Yeah, yeah. and I guess we could like explain more uh, too. Um, like, what do you think it could bring to like the Toronto creative scene in that sense too? And do you feel that like anyone, everyone involved in the scene should be a part of like something like this too? Like, even with the hood, uh, like music video makers to like the indie ones to mm -hmm. like the artists like from the streets to artists like from like the outside world too, and all that in that sense. Yeah, we're definitely trying to, we also want to, we're doing a mixer at the end of it. Uh, we're still figuring out the venue. It's probably going to be one of the local bars nearby. But a uh, big thing we want to do is create atmospheres where, where young filmmakers can meet kind of young musicians and kind of collab there. Like uh, I lucked out in a lot of ways. Like I used, from shooting concerts, I met a lot of young musicians. You meet the openers, you know, they're looking for a video and then I don't know, the stars align. And then we end up doing a project. But uh, a lot of young creatives, young, a lot of young filmmakers, they may not have these opportunities to meet young musicians. And we're hoping this mixer can kind of like, um, I don't know, and also, well, I'm not going to say, but a lot of filmmakers are shy. <laughs> so we're hoping to kind of, I don't know, bring them together. So see if things click like, uh, you know, a great goal or great, um, great thing that could happen is we hope this happens is, you know, some young filmmakers show up, young musicians or, or maybe not young, but like new to the industry. They don't have the biggest... Uh, pockets for music videos but these filmmakers you know they're on the come up they're willing to do it for less and they're going to give it 200 percent because they want to make that impression in the industry yeah. so we're hoping like young creatives young filmmakers can meet these artists you know they get on the same page you know have a few drinks and yeah. become good friends the next thing you know that musician now has his go-to filmmaker yeah. and this he knows this filmmaker is not this guy it's going to rip him off this filmmaker is going to go the distance and it kind of works in tandem. You know, he gets a great music video, a new kind of lifelong partner type thing in the industry. Well, the filmmaker gets a great portfolio piece that's going to get out there. And I don't know, can kind of build from there. Because like, as I said before, we started off in the passion projects. Every filmmaker is going to start in it. You know, no one likes to admit it, but you are going to do a lot of videos for free or for bare minimum because you just got to make that impression. Oh. But yeah, meeting artists is hard. And like, we hope we can kind of create that environment where creatives talk and all that stuff and build from and build from years to come. Like uh, this year we are keeping to one day, but I'd love to build where we can actually have different days, pitch panels, stuff like that. I don't know. Just kind of open the floodgates, but yeah, no, I know the best. You, um, you quoted something that I read uh, before too. So mm. you said, you know, music videos are so important to a musician's success yet. Uh, we always found the medium to be left unappreciated. We hope to change that by giving them the spot they've, they've always deserved. So, like, I think we've already explained this uh, before, but, like, even, like, in that, like, blog quote, um, mm -hmm. tell me more about that and how, how it, like, kind of, like, resonates, like, in various, like, contexts from there and all that. Yeah, I guess the big thing is, like, there is, you know, there's the MTV Music Awards, uh, Music Video Awards, and stuff like that, but they're always, like, the top, top dog videos, you know, the ones that, like, cost $17 billion to make and all that stuff. So we're hoping to kind of bring recognition to the younger, to the smaller guys that make these great videos they may are not getting the full spotlight. They're not getting those award or like MTV placements because they really are talented. Like you, everyone's seen some videos where you're like, damn, that was fantastic. But you know, it's a smaller artist. It's not getting the worldwide traction. So I guess the goal is like, we are keeping it open to every different, like we have a lot of different categories and uh, we're keeping it international so people can submit and all that stuff. And I guess the goal long-term is when these videos get shown, the festival builds and gets bigger. It becomes kind of like, okay, they can, young creatives can now kind of, you know, we were, we got a Toronto International Music Video Award, or we were in the selection screening. It kind of builds, I hate saying the word clout, but kind of builds their clout, yeah. allows them to enter or allows them to kind of 
God, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of uh, builds like their portfolio, like in that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well, just kind of have that recognition because yeah. in the end, like there's a lot of filmmakers, but you know, you have that festival award or whatever it is on there. Maybe a bigger label is going to give that person now the time of day to at least pitch a video because in the end, like it's a hard industry to kind of break. Like there's a lot of established filmmaker, uh, music video directors, but making that big jump to big labels from like the underground is very hard. And I like to believe our festival can kind of bring that recognition they deserve and allow them to build and kind of elevate their career yeah, from exactly. there. No. And uh, yeah, again, give back to the younger guys. Yeah. Like we were them at one point and we're very grateful for the opportunities we got, but it, you know, in the end it was a lot of luck, a lot of just trying everywhere. Uh, I don't know, a lot of just cold calls yeah. and I don't know, make it a little easier for those guys. Like I really yeah. wish it was easier for us <laughs> yeah, at the time. Nah, 100%. And to add my input on the situation too, mm -hmm. I feel like with music videos uh, nowadays too, like there's like no other medium to kind of like put it in as well too because I remember back then we had like 106 in Park, we had MTV's like Top 10 Countdown, mm -hmm. you know, we had like much music. They would play music videos like on every other like block channel or block segment for throughout that time. And, and nowadays too, like with a lot of like programs like being shut down to make room for like TV shows or like, you know, certain like content to be on there, you know, like we don't really see it like on there any anymore like youtube is like the new mtv mm. bet uh much music and all that too because like a lot of people can like watch videos from there without like having to do anything else too but like from that it can only go as far as how big the artist is and all that too so um, like let's say like you're a smaller artist too mm. like you're not gonna get that view counts you're not gonna get like that much recognition like within that sense too but like when you're putting it on an mtv or like on a bet or on a much music or on a channel like like that like on te television too like anyone can like watch it like whenever they want and all that too like whether it's like a small music video a big music video of a big artist a smaller artist too like there's always that medium for them to always kind of have it too and like i think the closest one i've actually seen so far uh was uh with rogers when they put it the whole like 4k like music video uh thing like on their channel and mm -hmm. they would play like certain artists from like a drake to um uh ty verdes to like a sin to other people too but it has to be more like within like other platforms too, like an MTV, a much uh, BET, like in that sense. Yeah, like we're hoping to be that middle ground. Like um, to go back to that, like a good comparison is like uh, indie films. There's a lot of film festivals that cater to that and allow them to kind of branch out into doing the big studio features. We want to kind of be that stepping stone for young or uh, smaller creatives in the music video scene. You know, I don't know. It's like allow them to actually get their showcase and. Yeah. Built from there, yeah. You know, oh, hopefully, we'll, maybe we're next time we'll be the next MTV or something <laughs> yeah. like that at yeah, some point. Nah, most definitely. And you know, if it, this executes like very well too, do you mm -hmm. feel like it can bring an impact on the Toronto creative uh, music scene, music scene in general, mm -hmm. or do you feel like there has to be like some other steps uh, next in order to make it work? Uh, it's definitely one of those we're gonna build by year. Like, um, uh, I used to work with the female eye, and you kind of learn how film festivals work, and it really is a lot of every year you get bigger. You don't want to bite up more than you can chew because in the end, you only have so much money in your pocket, stuff like that as well. Just you want to make it as best for what the scale it is. Like as we build, I guess the goal long-term is we definitely want to get into more panels, more educational type stuff, bigger uh, mixers, even like bringing live performances, you know, like right now it's a one day festival. I'd love for it in years from now to be kind of a staple of the Toronto music scene. Like we have North by Northeast, we have Canadian Music Week, fantastic events, all that stuff. And I, I'd like to be a part of that. We'd like to yeah. be kind of in that conversation when you get there. And, it, you know, it definitely will take from years, but I don't know, I'd like to keep them building. We also would love for it to really become that hub where young creatives, young musicians, all that stuff come together. And I don't know, it just becomes like a staple of it. Like, you know, kind of bring a tear to my eye five years from now, some young musician and young filmmaker. It's like, yeah, I remember five years back when we got in the selection series and it opened that door with Warner Bros and all that yeah. stuff. And like, you know. You know, that's the dream right okay. there. I start crying right there, yeah, but exactly. I don't know. We'd love to be in those leagues right there. And, it, and it's definitely going to be a, I don't know, take a year by year, slowly build. Uh, one thing we want to do is kind of the, the filmmaker, uh, sorry, the music video initiative. Um, it's going to come down to how much money and sponsorship we can get this year, but we'd love to build into it next year for sure. Is we're kind of young, uh, we're going to kind of pick a musician. And uh, basically, we're going to allow young filmmakers to pitch to them an idea. We can supply the budget. 
And then the musician will kind of pick the best idea. And it leads to a young filmmaker being able to make a real budgeted music video for an established artist and build from there. Like that's one of our big goals right now. And hopefully we'll build into that next year, if not this year, if things work out. But I don't know, just expanding is just big thing. Like as much as we want to do the awards, I really want to cement that we are really trying to go in the educational aspect. We really want to open those doors to aspects people can learn about that. Again, we never really knew when we were getting in the industry. <laughs> so I mm -hmm. get that. Yeah, no, most definitely, man. No, I definitely understand like what you mean in that sense too. 